So today I have my last exam and it's my methods 2 exam, which is a tech active exam with the calculator. So it's probably going to be really difficult. I am not really taking my year 11 exams that seriously because I studied really hard for my year 12 exam and I'm a little bit burnt out from that. This weekend, because today's Monday, so on the weekend I literally did nothing. Like I re-downloaded TikTok, biggest mistake of my life as per usual, and I just scrolled my entire weekend away. Although I did work out both days and I worked out this morning, so I feel slay for that. But yeah, I haven't really been doing that much. Actually, I just haven't really been doing anything apart from like my tutoring classes, which is not even studying in my opinion. One really key takeaway that I gained from this exam period though is the importance of having hobbies other than studying. Not that studying is my hobby by any means, but having things to do other than studying. I'm sure I've talked about this before, but Kendo really helped me get through my bio exam. Like I still went to Kendo practices even until the week of the bio exam. I just didn't go the day before and it was really cathartic and it helped relax me and help take my mind off bio. When you're thinking about studying all the time, 24 seven, 365, your brain will literally explode. Like it is not good for your brain and you won't be able to concentrate and study as effectively and you'll end up just wasting a lot of time. I also downloaded this forest timer on my phone. I paid like $6 for it kind of expensive but like and my challenge is to study as little as possible every day so i try and aim for like two to three hours on a weekday and then maybe a four to five to six hours on the weekends on like saturday and then four to five hours on sunday just so that like i'm not over studying i feel like once you hit the six hour mark and you study more than that like can we be so thrilled are you even concentrating at that point like if you are good for you but i don't think most people can concentrate for eight hours in one day Just finished the methods exam. I think I did pretty good. Although I didn't finish, I still left like three sub parts. So goodbye, like eight marks there, but it was mostly all right. Well, I will identify as the buddy so I Oh my stuff. God, that's so big. You're right. It's quite For real. That's it, bye. Happy dance. Good morning everybody, today is Tuesday and it's a very fine day, so sunny today and I have no exams and life is good and I'm going to make my red velvet cake today. Okay, so I'm going to start my red velvet cake now and I'm going to make a TikTok, so if you want to see the full process of me making it, go watch my TikTok, links in the description, but I will include some clips on here, on the vlog. cake is now finished it doesn't look like the picture that's the picture that's the reality but it still tastes fantastic and I'm happy oh my gosh she's anticipating it Oh. 
is I like to take the ball and then just withhold it from her. Just keep her in a position. Where is it? Watch her get impatient. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's currently 6.30pm, so it is a couple of hours later since I played ball with my dog. I actually took like a 3 hour nap in between that clip and the clip of me working out because I was so tired for some reason and I think it's because I've accumulated sleep debt over a few days just with poor sleep hygiene, like I've been scrolling before I sleep haven't been getting the best sleep, like quality of sleep. And also I keep getting woken up by my brother going to school because he still has to go to school whereas I don't have to go to school. Lamau shitter. So I haven't really done any work today. So I'm gonna start that now. cheapest and they all taste bad so may as well get the cheapest one hi guys it's like almost midnight and i know i should sleep because i'm waking up at 5 a.m tomorrow but i literally can't sleep because my mind is alive you don't fall asleep eating a banana okay i'm not asleep my mind is alive i'm thinking i might study chemistry as crazy as that sounds I think I should do something productive. Also, because my exams are done, I can afford to ruin my sleep schedule a bit and just like suffer the consequences with no. Yeah. To the pool now um it's like a 30 minute walk but if i gay walk i think i can make it there in 20. Hi guys, so I just finished um, up at the pool and I'm currently walking back home. It's kind of raining right now, so I'm just gonna hold my jacket over myself. But I decided to go swimming today to, so I could switch up my cardio routine. I find that if I stick to the same type of cardio for a long time, I get really bored. Like sometimes I go for runs like pretty frequently and it gets so boring so quickly. Like after two or three runs, I don't wanna touch another run for another three weeks. So I think it's a really good idea to switch things up if you can. Another source of cardio that I like to do is also just kendo. There's a lot of running in kendo or like skipping around. And so that can like burn a lot of calories and get the heart pumping. Obviously there's running. I also forgot to mention that because my feet are really hurting from running, swimming is a really good option because you don't really have to bear any weight. So I don't get any foot pain or anything from swimming and I think it's a really good option for people with like, who are going through some kind of pain. It's literally already raining. Life's good.
市内のシナリオが生まれないから、固定を打ち上げ、経営だけでできるだけ加えて、販売させるっていう感じ。Then that would be three minus four, and that would be negative one. Wait, because I did it. Hi guys! Oh my god! Just got back from Kendo, and I just want to say I was not feeling the best before、um, I went to Kendo. I was having some anxious thoughts, specifically about mathematical methods. I like methods, but it's also kind of the bane of my existence at the same time. It's a love hate relationship, and I was feeling really anxious about it just in general. But then going to Kendo really made me like reset. Made me flush away the bad thoughts and the negative energy, and just totally have a like a mindset reset. And I feel so much better now, and that's why I'm gonna advocate for like having some kind of hobby that really like refreshes you from study, because you can't be thinking about study all the time, or you're actually just gonna die. Like your brain is gonna explode. Hi everyone, I didn't film any outro for this video, but thank you so much for watching. Sorry that I haven't been posting very consistently recently. It's just been really busy with my final exams, and now that they're all over, hopefully I can dedicate more time to this channel. Hope you guys all have a wonderful break.、Um, it's actually summer in Australia now, so that's really nice. I plan to go to the beach many times this summer,、um, but I hope you all enjoy your break and stay safe. Bye!